Monitoring children's access and safety online is of paramount importance in today's digital age. With the internet playing an integral role in their lives, it is crucial for parents and guardians to stay vigilant. The news agency of Nigeria spoke with some parents and guardians on strategies adopted to monitor their children's access and safety online. One of them is number one, um, you give them phones, the device at a particular time, you don't give them 100% access. You keep it when necessary, and when you know you are around, give them access to it so that they can, okay, they can do whatever they want to do when you're not very far from them. That is one of the ways you can do that, okay? Because if you turn your face away, you can never tell. Kids of today, they are very smart. They are, it's true, they have higher mental understanding than I used to have when I was younger. They've been influenced by lots of activities in our modern day world. So don't give them the room, don't give them the time. Make sure that you monitor them closely when they're using the phone. That's number one. Number two, do not put passwords on those phones, just in case. It's important. Put passwords on the phones. That's number two. That they can't have access to it anytime and open it anytime. Number three, it's important for you also. also one, one thing we have, one defect we have in this part of the world, particularly in Africa, we've learned not to understand and face the realities and the challenges of breeding modern day children. We feel they are still kids. There are lots of things we should be discussing with them. We are not discussing with them because we feel as if how can a father be discussing this kind of issue with a daughter at the age of 10, 9, 8, 11, 12. But the reality is that these are things that confront them every day, whether you are there or not. An average parent spends lesser time with the children that, she's, that that child spends with her parents and school. That's the truth of the matter. So you need to cover this vacuum. And the only way you can do that is to also make them understand the dangers of being online. That's also a check. While my kids were growing up, what I did with them is that even during holiday time, I, I don't encourage holiday lessons. I never did. Rather than do holiday lessons, I remember sending two of my daughters to a hospital to go and do a volunteer job for them in the hospital. Yeah, that is what they did for two months. My son went into photography, which is a hobby he started at the age of five. Today, my son at the age of 18 was, I tried so when he was 15 years, he was rated as the youngest professional photographer in Nigeria by the federal government. So for me, what I do is encourage them to do whatever is it that keeps them busy and happy not necessarily going online all the time. In fact, for a long period of time, I didn't allow my children access to online. They had their Facebook pages, which I controlled. Until when I discovered that they were of age, then I allowed them access to handle it. If I had my way, for me, I see, I see no reason why a child, maybe less than 15, should have a phone. Because it exposes them to a lot of vices. But as it were, well, it has come to stay. It's not, it's not left for parents, guardians, and... Um, elder society to try to um, look into that issue what i have to say for me i'll just have to talk to my kids or children around me um to out maybe I, I give them time okay maybe for two hours you go online do something productive do something profitable because either i like it whether, whether i'm there or not they can always but i think i want to go a long way just keep encouraging these kids they say you meet people where they are now if children are online you take your books online to meet them, right? Now, parents would have to help in terms of dimensions, in terms of measuring time. For example, a child has six hours to work with, and the child wants to watch uh, maybe a cartoon. Give the child a 30-minute cartoon. Give the child a 30-minute book to read digitally, right? Then give the child another book to read for one hour. If the child does that, it's, it's just measuring it you know, in such a way that you don't miss. Because the truth about it is that the digital has come to stay. So rather than, we, 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 we can't fight it frontally, we incorporate it in our initiatives. I have to be there most of the time, and especially sometimes she wants to do, um, she wants to watch some documentary on YouTube. Uh, I, I'm always around to guide her because I don't want her to jump into or get into any site or page that are uh, not allowed to kids. Although there are some smart kids who could uh, find a way around, but most of the time it's usually advised for you as parents to to protect the child by um, activating the parental control on your system, which prevents them from getting into some sites that are not supposed to be seen by them. First. You set boundaries, you understand? You have to let them know that internet is very good, yeah, for you to go do your research, you understand, know more about things. 
but also at the same time it can also harm you if you if you go out of the line like clicking all the links you see so i them using it, uh, uh, every opportunity they have to let them know you understand that whenever you're online to do any research concerning your work or anything you have to do that is useful don't deviate from that you understand i know online being online can be very uh, should i say it can be very tempting as in you will be there and something might just pop up you want to know what that you click and go and check it out so letting them know that there are some things you are not to be checking at your age you understand for your own safety i think letting them know these things will really help them so that when they are alone and some of those things come up and they want to they will just remember what you have told them by implementing effective monitoring strategies Caregivers can ensure that children explore the online world safely.